So, here we are again in Facebook jail once more for my inflammatory rhetoric towards what I term as the cult of Fauci. For my stance against this era of socially programmed neuroticism, I was called a conspiracy theorist. And so I responded in kind to this person who branded me as a conspiracy theorist, and I told him that if the house of Big Pharma were to be scorched and you were trapped inside, I would not shed a tear for you. These are indeed inflammatory words. I plead guilty to it. But you know what? These are also inflammatory times. I did the crime and I'll do the time. You wanna cancel me? You go right ahead and do that. I really don't care. I've been canceled many times before and at this point, I really can care less. We are almost on year two of this insanity. Year two of wearing masks. Year two of locking down. Year two of living in fear of touching another person. Year two in the, in the war on germs. The rhetoric that I'm hearing from liberals towards the unvaccinated is unacceptable. We should lock up those who don't want to get vaccinated. My freedoms, LOL. Those who don't get vaccinated should have their jobs taken from them. When is this going to end? And when are you going to stop? When are you going to stop being focused on numbers, on aerosols, on spreadsheets, on reducing uh, capacities and making life miserable for absolutely everyone? When is this going to stop? When are you, oh enlightened progressive, informed, MSNBC watching, New York Times reading pretentious know-it-all liberals going to stop? When are you going to stop and take ex accountability for your collective insanity and take responsibility for your actions? Do you even listen to yourselves? Look at how utter utterly pathetic you have become and you don't even notice it. 20 years ago, we were plunged into the war on terrorism. 9-11 killed 2,777 people. 9-11 was no hoax, but apparently you have forgotten that 9-11 was used as an excuse to impose the Patriot Act, to impose NDAA, to throw suspicious looking Arabic people into Guantanamo Bay, to have cameras and police everywhere to monitor and spy on your every little interaction to launch 20 years of military exercises that killed millions of people and continue to kill millions of people on false pretenses in order to allow the oil lobby to concentrate wealth and solicit taxpayer funding to develop military weaponry. Did you forget all about that? You can call, you know, me a conspiracy theorist all you want, but at least I remember history and I don't have my head so far up my ass. Oh, you wear a mask to keep people safe and you got a booster shot. Good for you. Do you want a cookie? Do you feel special? Oh, so virtuous and noble you are. I got vaccinated too, but I'm not a hero for it. You know, I don't, it's, I don't have my head so far up my ass that I don't pay attention to the much larger picture that is developing here. Do you even pay attention to what has been going on around you other than the constant bombardment of numbers and reports about unvaccinated people supposedly dying at alarming rates? By the way, the mainstream media is owned by the 1% and they can manufacture consensus and make anything appear to be truth or fabrication and stupid people will believe it. Get off the television, get off social media and just look around shuttered storefronts everywhere, crumbling infrastructure, and more and more homeless people on the streets than ever before. The other day I was in the New York City Library and I caught security berating a homeless person with their child because they weren't master vaccinated. They were trying to keep warm. It's cold in New York City, but kick them out as soon as possible because they are lepers. Many shelters don't admit homeless people if they're not vaccinated. They can't go 
uh, to the uh, to the and use the restroom at Starbucks or stay inside because they might not be vaccinated. On top of that, the city uses the pandemic as an excuse to shut down public restrooms, to shut off water fountains, to close off public spaces, to stop germ spread. Bus drivers will check every person to see if they have a vaccine passport to ride on the bus. But at the same time, you can go on the subway if you aren't vaccinated. Even, but even if you are vaccinated and boosted, you still have to wear a mask. My poor mother, she's treated like a leper at work because she got a religious exemption from being vaccinated, which I find completely insane because no one should have to get a religious exemption if they don't want the vaccine, period. Especially after her coworker died two days after getting a booster shot. The vaccine should not be mandatory. It was originally meant for the immunocompromised, the elderly, and people living in more remote regions of the earth, like Hawaii, Guam, and Fiji, where they require artificial inoculation as they are not exposed to the spread of germs like New York City or, or London or Paris, that is. But look at what happens. Look, look at what happened around you. In 2020 alone, the 1% made $3 trillion, more money than they have made in the past 18 years combined. Walmart, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla posted record profits. Jeff Bezos rode a dick into outer space. Meanwhile, as 50 million people lost or were dislocated from their careers, more than 200,000 businesses went under. The government gave out a couple of checks to keep its distressed citizenry afloat. Oh, whoop de doo Local, state, and federal government passed rent moratoriums that still did not protect people from getting evicted. Unemployment benefits were extended, sure, but if you didn't qualify for them, and I did not, you are out of luck. When I got out of the hospital after enduring head trauma in early 2020, my career as a tour guide was derailed. I got screwed out of unemployment and I had to stretch $500 across four months with very little help. I had to skip cell phone payments and, make, and had to make decisions about whether or not to feed myself with ramen noodles and chocolate or wash my clothes from week to week. I had to move back to into my mom's basement at 33 and spend 15 miserable months at Walmart after having a tour guiding career where I made the New York Times twice and where Oxford professors would come to me to learn about New York City. Professional class liberals and leftists in their toxic anti-Trump coalition just ate all this up like candy, like free candy. They ate it all up. They were perfectly fine with lockdowns, with disruptions to everyday life. They were fine with all the people who lost everything in the name of public health. They were perfectly fine with suppressing all public gatherings and canceling in-person uh, events to reduce them to Zoom meetings. You know, look, lots of data collection there, let me tell you. And perfectly fine with all the misery that was endured because they're afraid to catch a novel virus. Freedom means nothing in the name of safety and security. Absolutely nothing. Take your Xanax and shut up. During this year, uh, millions of people got fired or had to retire early because they didn't get a, they didn't want to get a shot in their arm because they never got sick and didn't feel the need to get a shot in their arm but punish them damn them and curse them to a lifetime of eternal shame and poverty because they didn't want to go along with the program because you have been coaxed into believing that they are supposedly selfish as if their views and their health decisions don't matter because you are morally and intellectually superior to them because you follow the science yay you want to demonize me as a conspiracy theorist look at what you have become Look at yourselves. Not for nothing, it was not meant for all 8 billion people on earth to take the vaccine. But of course, if you're a shareholder who holds stock in Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and AstraZeneca, then sure, you want governments all over the world to keep spending billions upon billions of dollars towards these companies that you own shares in so your portfolio can increase in its value, right? You want shots in everyone's arm all across the earth. You want laws made to ensure that everyone gets vaccinated, for if they don't, their lives are going to become a living hell. 
You want the public to turn against people who don't get vaccinated and call them conspiracy theorists for not trusting what the state says, especially after the state has lied so much in the past 60 years. You know, Vietnam, Iraq, Iran-Contra scandal, 9-11. They lied in the past 60 years virtually about everything. You want people to control how, how no, you want to control how people live their lives because it makes you wealthy. And what more, you don't want the pandemic to end because it makes you richer. So the madness continues. Variant cases, reported deaths, lockdowns. Booster, variant cases, reported deaths, um, lockdowns. Booster, uh, you know, uh, reported cases or variant reported cases, lockdowns, booster, etc., etc. Rinse, wash, and repeat, and so on, and so forth, and so on, and so forth. Ah, there's that sound again. The liberals, the liberals, and gaslit and traumatized leftists continue to eat it all up. Really? You're going to stay there? They continue to eat it all up. They will believe every news story, even though we live in an era of deep fakes and anything could potentially be fabricated. They will believe that 10 million people died in a single day when that could be hypothetically fabricated too. I have a cousin who works as a nurse and she told me that for every death marked as COVID, the federal and state government doles out extra capital to the hospitals. It's profitable to the hospital shareholders. We live in a country where the population is filled with an overabundance of health problems, ranging from diabetes, hypertension, asthma, obesity, high blood pressure, coronary disease, etc., etc., etc. But we can sweep it all that under the rug because COVID is the main cause of death and not the plethora of pre existing health problems that have plagued our populace long before COVID became a thing. And what more, they will use COVID as an excuse to justify the iron fist of us austerity and treat the poor and the marginalized worse than shit and say the uh, the ends justify the means because they value security over safety. Now, am I denying that COVID exists? No. I believe I had it myself in late 2019 because as a New York City tour guide, I am exposed to people from all over the world on a daily basis. Hundreds, if not thousands of people. If anyone's going to get sick from a novel virus, it's going to be me. And it was hell, worse than any flu that I have ever felt. I felt like my insides were cooking. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't sleep, but I got over it by gorging down pineapples and pineapple juice and ingesting all the bromelain I could as the enzyme naturally acts as an anti-inflammatory agent. All throughout the pandemic, I have interacted with everyone, vaccinated and non-vaccinated, maskless, throwing caution to the wind. I went to anti-lockdown protests, even got one to denounce disaster capitalism and crisis profiteering. Who would have thought I could do such a thing? Anti-vaccine rallies, even though I got vaccinated, meshed and mingled with the people, shared drinks and utensils, and did literally everything you're not supposed to do or encouraged to do during a pandemic. I did it all. At the very worst, I got the case of the sneezes in autumn 2020 and the case of the sniffles in summer 2021. I trust my immune system because it's had a lot of practice killing germs over the years. That's how you build up natural immunity. Ever heard of that concept? Apparently not. But keep popping those anti-anxiety meds and anti-depression meds. Don't ask too many questions. Don't rock the boat. And um, the establishment always tells the truth and truly has your best interests at heart. Right? Leftists have the nerve to call me a conspiracy theorist. They should look at themselves wearing three masks and a face protector, afraid to go out, afraid to give people hugs, afraid to fraternize, socialize, and engage in human-to-human interaction. You used to be the crowd that said, fuck Monsanto. Now you're begging for vaccines and boosters from companies loosely affiliated with Monsanto because you don't trust your immune systems to develop natural immunity, do you? It's come full circle, hasn't it? 
How hypocritical. You can call me a conspiracy theorist, and yet here you are making demands with the extremely demented MSNBC crowd for permanent vaccine mandates, making demands that the poor and unvaccinated get rounded up and arrested. What would you do if an African-American person was killed by the police for not following COVID protocols? Are you going to take the side of the police because that African-American person wasn't wearing a mask? Or are you just going to roll over and call them a Trump supporter or a conspiracy theorist and say that they deserve to die? You know what? That's exactly what you're going to do because that's how backwards and shell-shocked you have all become. You let the people who used to spit at you and tell you to get a job when you occupied parks 10 years ago become the anti-establishment to march on state capitals with their rifles and then blame all this madness on communism. And you didn't even dare once. You didn't even dare once try to correct these rightfully alienated but extremely misguided people and say, no, this is disaster capitalism. This isn't China. This is Wall Street at work. You didn't even bother to do that because you can't be seen with Trump supporters and God forbid, God forbid, maybe Trumpers are a little bit right about this one. Fickle, fickle people you are, fickle. You have the nerve to call me a conspiracy theorist when you have been eating up everything, everything the 1% has been feeding you. Hook, line, and sinker, paying no mind to any history, and you didn't even dare once. You didn't even dare once at any, at any point at all to question any of this because like obedient dogs, you do whatever your liberal and corporate masters tell you. There's homeless people dying out there on the streets right now from frostbite and hunger. But what do you care as long as you still have all your validation online as the, as the champions of social justice and progress, right? This is why I take a very hard line stance against COVID culture, because all of this needs to end. All of it. The gaslighting, the masks, the classism, the neuroticism, the polarization, the atomization, the weaponization of stats and figures pulled out out of the asses of 1% owned scientists and universities. This needs to end. You want to get vaccinated? Go ahead. That's your business. You want to get booster shots? Go ahead. That's your business too. But all this other stuff, this needs to end. Our people are hurting right now. They are suffering, tur turned against each other while the 1% carves us up and eats us alive. If you love humanity as much as you claim, you will not stand for this stuff any longer. You will divorce yourselves from these despicable, deplorable liberals and you will fight them like you did 10 years ago because they weren't on your side 10 years ago and they aren't on your side now. You're just their useful idiots. You will stand up for all people, whether they are vaccinated or not. You will put your foot down and say, no. You will not create a class of second and third class citizens. You are not the gatekeepers of morality. We are not going to vaccinate ourselves out of this crisis, folks. We have to fight. We may have to make some universal or unusual, not well, universal and unusual alliances. We may have to be in the streets. We, we, we may have to bring the pressure. And you know what? We may very well have to raise hell. And if anyone says, no, 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 or but, 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 they're going to get caught in a wave of, uh, the caught in the wave of the ascending and furious masses. There is no other alternative. This is the way out of this era of pharmaceutical and tech dystopia. We have to fight our way out. We have to tell the 1%, back off, enough is enough. You wanna cancel me and call me a conspiracy theorist? You go right ahead and do that. I really don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. This is the hill that I am prepared to defend with my life, and I call upon anyone who has the courage and the fortitude to join me. Enough is enough. The war on COVID ends in 2022, whether the 1%, the class trader liberals, and the fraudulent left likes it or not. This is Comrade Pella signing out.